EEG changes during sleep. Slow wave sleep is stage 1, we are having theta waves. In stage 2, two things, 2 for 2. Sleep spindles, sleep spindles are cine wave shaped, but they are alpha like in frequency and voltage, along with occasionally K complexes. K complexes are high voltage biphasic EEG changes. We can do a mnemonic here. Suppose sleep is a film that in this film title ke baad Sidhe Shahrukh Khan. Anyway, in stage 3 we are having delta waves and delta waves become more frequent in stage 4. Delta waves are pure cortical, high voltage, low frequency EEG waves. They are having highest voltage because cortical neuronal discharges are most simultaneous. Degree of synchronization is high. They are having least frequency because cortical activity in totality is least. They are pure cortical because these are the only waves independent of discharges from reticular activating system to cortex. Yani, RAS se cortex mein aane wale discharges agar band bhi ho jayen, to delta wave record hogi, but other waves will not. Quite contrasting to delta, in REM sleep, beta waves are recorded, suggestive of high cortical activity. So in REM, one hand beta wave, other hand highest strength of stimulus or stimuli are needed to wake a person. Agar REM may say, person ko uthana ho, to sabse strong stimulus dina hoga. That's why REM sleep is called paradoxical sleep. Along with beta, PGO complexes are also recorded, which are high phasic waves in group of 3 to 5. These are due to cholinergic discharges starting from pontine nucleus, rapidly going to lateral geniculate body and finally reaching to occipital cortex. PGO. Now, 